Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel and all the ones that I personally know, thank you for subscribing as well. Uh, today I want to make a quick video about a product that I really was very curious about how well it worked. Surprisingly, it has worked for me very well. And knowing that people out there are building those 80 polymer uh, handguns, uh, it's kind of hard to find a holster that fits them unless you go to somebody and custom make it and then you'll be paying a lot of money for one, uh, especially if you're running uh, some kind of light or anything. But this company uh, came out with this cool product that I think you're gonna be really uh, interested in getting. And I think you'll be really, uh, you know, enjoyable to use as a concealed carry or just for whatever you may use it for. And today I'm looking at the Felix Stealth Operator compact size uh, holster and the thing about this holster is that it's a multi-fit holster. In other words, it fits multiple handguns, uh, you know, out there. And this keeps you from buying multiple holsters for different handguns that you own. Now, there are some flaws to it that I recently, uh, you know, kind of found out on myself. But mostly fits uh, certain uh, manufactured handguns that I think you, uh, you know, be interested in. So, I'm reading out the, uh, this how it comes in this little package. Again, the name of the company is, uh, I hope I pronounced it right, Phalanx, Phalanx or something like that. I'm not sure. Somebody, I don't know. But anyways, again, this is the, uh, the multi-pepper holster that fits multiple guns again. And it says it fits 150 guns. And it's got a list on the back. It says um, some of the brands could be Glocks, but mostly everybody has. Uh, Taurus, Ruger, Smith & Wesson, Springfield, uh, H&K, Beretta, Six Hour, uh, Remington, Bursa, ZC, Walters, you name it. It fits pretty much everything. Now this this is a uh, body counter uh, for low profile. As you can see, it's very minimal low profile. Very, very lightweight. Um, again, uh, for compact size, but I've been carrying it. Uh, I fit some of the, you know, some of the full size because the bottom is open now this is not a light compatible uh due to because of the way it's made because it fits 150 different types of handguns now this is uh fully uh injected molded so um it's stronger than cottage which they say uh it's kind of it's got flex to it and everything so maybe that's what makes it be able to fit 150 types of handguns now it's got a four cans you can see which I really enjoy, like. Uh, it's got the rounded edges and everything. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in there very good, but it's pretty much a molded piece of plastic and it's able to flex. So you'll be able to, you know, fit every different type of handguns. Uh, and this is for the outside of the waist. They do have it for the inside of the waist, different model size and everything. As far as colors, I'm not sure. You have to check the website, but, uh, I think that's what give you the capability of be able to, you know, host the different type of firearms, uh, different manufacturers. Now I don't have many handguns, but just to show you, I got this Palmer 80 build with the 17 slide and the 19 frame. Now, one thing about this that I said was the flaws I mentioned earlier, uh, it doesn't fit this because due of the red optic. So if you're running a red dot on top of your firearm, it's not gonna be able to go all the way in. As you can see, it doesn't click in like it's supposed to. So that's one thing you did consider if you run under a red dot. Maybe the other size will fit, but this one doesn't fit. Now this is a Glock 26. Again, this is polymer 80 frame and it locks good. So works nice and easy. Here's one. This is my Glock 19 with an 80 polymer again compensator which is good because it's got to open on the bottom fits perfect good retention and again my standard gen 4 glock of course it's going to fit perfectly and everything now again if you run a red dot it's not going to work for you so take that in consideration make sure you don't buy it and be upset because it doesn't fit so make sure you um Maybe reach out to them and see if they have some come other other option that you may be able to, you know, use. But I really enjoy it. It's very minimal. Again, so you cannot feel it. It's real lightweight, uh, flexible and everything. Uh, again, they have for the inside of the waist and everything. Uh, 
really appreciate Felix for sending the holster. I really enjoy it. I'll be carrying it more. I've been having it for about a week now. Uh, I really enjoy it. Hopefully I have more firearms to give you more better uh, look at what else will fit perfectly. But as you can see is the retention is gonna be around the handguard. So if you have a rounded edge handguard, it's not gonna fit as well, which I have a, um, the Rock Island uh, industry map, which just has a round handguard in front. So it's not gonna click perfectly in here. So as you can see, it's got the square looking uh, trigger guard here, not handguard, <laughs> trigger guard here, which makes it uh, have the retention on there for it as well. Um, so let me show what it looks like on the waist, do a couple of draws, and then go from there and give you my opinion. Stay tuned. All right, guys, start with the Glock 26. As you can see how it looks, still be able to reach the firearm draw it very easily so let's do some drawing and shooting uh and go for there and test out the other fire and see how well we can draw so let's make the firearm hot if i see the magazine correctly there we go all right just a couple shots here get the drawing and see how it works here we go All right, let's do it with the Glock 19 Polymer 80 Custom. That's what it looks like. It's got the long barrel, compensator and everything. Let's draw and see how well it works. Here we go. Let's make it hot. All right, here we go. All right, guys, you saw that works perfectly with the Polymer 80 frames, which I really like that. I don't have to worry about getting a custom uh, holster made for somebody else and pay 80 to $100 for one. These are very affordable holster. So anyways, here's the Glock 19 Gen 4. That's how it looks. There you can see it. And let's do some drawing with it. See how well it works. Here we go. Let's make it hot. Make sure. All right. Here we go. All right, works perfect. So here we go. Guys, if you're looking for a holster and just one holster with a lifetime warranty, make sure to check this guys out. Phalanx, the stealth operator, fits 150 different types of handguns. I really recommend that if you don't want to waste a lot of money and buy different holsters for different guns that you may own. Remember, if you have a red dot, it will not fit. Uh, not sure about the other ones. They may fit. Contact them. Ask them. They can help you out. And again, they got a lifetime warranty. No question asked. They'll replace it, fix it, whatever they need to do. Guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. Thank you for watching. As usual, see you in the next one. Goodbye.